Okay, this is how we're looking. Let me step on this. 70.85, which is not bad. Good morning, day 21 of the 75 hard challenge. I'm currently looking at the charts right now. I'm about to go for a run, quick 5K to get it in in the morning. Just turning half past eight. And I have the charts marked up. We had a great week last week. I'm gonna wait for pullbacks at around this level here, 2658, to get further sales back down to 2630. That is the trade that I'm gonna take today, whenever it may come in. We'll wait carefully, patiently, until that trade hit. What a morning. Trust me, I don't even wanna be doing this right now, but it's the same shit every day. Just get it done, even if you don't wanna do it. Hold on, it's my friend. My friend, the cat. Hello. Hello, mate. Oh, hello. Hello. Aren't you gorgeous, aren't you? Huh? Good morning, my friend. You have a good day now, okay? You have a good day, buddy. See you later. You have a good day. 70.8 kg. Oh, he's sitting in the road waiting for me. I feel bad now. Jesus Christ. 70.8 kg. I think that's our lightest weigh-in so far. If I get below 70 kg, that's actually pretty nuts. And then I wonder how, like whilst keeping my muscle, how much fat I can actually lose. That's gonna be the maddest. But I'm gonna do some stretching here. <clears throat> warm up my legs, warm up my muscles, and then go for the run. Once it's done, it's done. All I'm telling myself is, all I'm telling myself is, is that I've just got to run for 30 minutes and then I can go get a coffee and start my day. That's all I keep thinking. That's what I'm hoping. And that's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> and um, there's some days where you might not feel like this, but you gotta tell yourself, you gotta prepare yourself like the night before. You gotta say like, I don't care how I feel. I'm gonna go get it done. The longer you do shit like this, the, the better it gets too, as it gets easier over time. <clears throat> but still sucks, don't get me wrong. This is my cardio for the day though. And then I can go get a coffee, get some dog food, and then hit chest and shoulders, which I believe it is chest and shoulders today. Yeah, and then hit chest and shoulders, do sauna, and then funding pairs launches today, which is which is a big thing, massive thing. So if you need to get funded, check out fundingpairs.com. Link is down below in the description, but <clears throat> without further ado, I'm going to get myself on this run babe look i'm in all the gear no idea Bash. Wow. 2k done so far probably coming up to 3k now pace wise boys i'm just jogging this shit you know ain't here trying to do records this is a marathon not a sprint i'm trying to not get injured whilst running on shit like this an ankle breaker ready to happen also the aim of the objective is, is to get out and do some sort of form of cardio activity get the heart pumping start the monday right and get my joints used to running again but obviously if you push yourself too hard you'll just start getting injuries and that's something i'm trying to really avoid on this challenge is the injuries and i never thought i'd i'd get injured there's a guy walking to two rotties while i'm running i need a shit i need a shit but we're getting it done come on i might not even do 5k i might just do 20 minutes but i did say i would get a 10k in but i flopped it this weekend i was dying this weekend i was so tired muscles were hurting I rested up because I knew that the week ahead was going to be tough. So I rested. The key thing is, is that we all need to remember it, is that I can't miss a day. I've got to do this shit twice a day. It's tough, man. It's tough, but I tell you, that's nearly below 70 kg. Obviously, I ain't trying to drop fucking weight like that. I'm just trying to get rid of the fat. But it's pretty insane that I remember when I used to proper train, trying to get abs and stuff. I just dropped below 70 and that was like my peak. 
So if I can drop below 70 and keep all my muscle, I'm going to be very, very happy. All right, enough talking, let me run. Done and dusted, 4K, 27 minutes. And it's like, I'm not really even out of breath, which means I'm not pushing myself to maximum heart rate, which is when you don't really see any growth if you don't push yourself. But it's like I said, I've got to ease myself in. This is the third week, I believe, 7.14, 21, we're on day 21. You got to just ease yourself in. Just because you're feeling fitter, doesn't mean you got all guns blazing. We still have two months off this challenge. A long time, we've only been doing it for, this is the third week. So, you know, or this, maybe this is the fourth week actually. <sighs> Whatever it is. But yeah, I'm gonna hop in gold cells, 26.54. Gonna have 40 pip SL and hold it to 2630 first, which is a nice 260 pip drop, equivalent to about six and a bit percent. So fingers crossed on that. Because that'd be a good start to the week as well. Let's go. Okay, so obviously back from the run, cell limit activated, hit it on the head, 2656.26. It's gonna go to around this level, which is what I'm thinking, and then we can get in. We're currently in the trade right now, 2656 was touched, holding the cells. We've got a nice 40 pip SL on it, a bit like this trade here, 265. Six SL two six sixty and take profit to six thirty. Back in the HQ, back in the gym. Here we go. Chest and shoulder session plus. I need to record reels today in in the HQ in the center. Oh, what a day! Funding pair is supposed to be launching today. Of course, issues always occur. Of course, they fucking do. MT5's uh, person providing it. Agreed on a price, two hours before launch, changes the price. It's always saying, can it's like right now, do you just get deflated? Do you pay what they want? Or do you try and find a, another solution? <sighs> it's always the way, always the way with this, with business and stuff like that. And it's like right now, do I do my session? Do I just beat myself up, get deflated? What do I do? And um, I'm going to hit the gym, still get it done, still do sauna, do my reels, keep keep the momentum going, whilst all of this trying to find another solution or pay what they want. Currently gonna be in there for about 20, 25 minutes. Gold cells holding, 2658 we tapped in and 2656 we've tapped in. So we're just holding those cells out. The 2630 minimum, aiming for that 2600 level in by the end of the week, hopefully within the next few days. But gym was done, wasn't the best workout if I'm honest, deflated about the funded pairs. Situation, however, this is part of growth, part of business, part of everything. You've got to find a solution to get past this issue. So I will do that. I'm just gonna enjoy this sauna session, walk the dog, eat some food, and then see how the trade plays out. I needed to make my real contents today. I'm gonna to see how I feel after the sauna. If I'm gonna just quickly go do a couple, go do seven, smash it out. But yeah, it's just, I don't want to be negative on the video, but I just want to show like the true how I'm feeling, you know, what's going through my head. So sorry if it's a bit depressing, but yeah, it's not not the happiest this morning after that news. All right, sauna done. I'm actually a bit red in the face as well, to be fair. Jesus Christ. But I'm going to get on. Maybe I should do my hair. I'm going to get on this quick. Get this done and dusted. Do the real. It's just going to do seven. Holy shit. Look at that trade. <sighs> I told you, 26.31st, then 2600. I've been saying this 
since the start of the journey of the 75 hard and uh yeah got someone's 200k ftmo right now about to get 20,000 just off this one trade we are just getting out of sales right now close for 160 pip 170 pips plus eight percent up right now on sales and then i'm getting in sales again up here we did take a few percent sl however i'm currently hold out my trades and we're aiming for 26 30 then 26 within the next couple of days. So make sure to join up the free training group and platinum. Let's go, baby. For lunch, we have got pasta with ham and cheese. It's not actually the best cutting diet, but I'm loading up on the carbs. Probably go for another run later to burn it off, but I couldn't be bothered to cook chicken and bacon. Yeah, so I got TP1 just smashed plus 5% getting there on the free training group and platinum. Also just thinking about when you do well, you build self-motivation which then makes you more money like the self-doubt you have or when you're grinding and things don't go your way it just like keeps knocking you down knocking you down knocking you down and the way to get overcome that is just literally just stick to the plan stick to what you believe in and keep putting in the work and it will come things will come you build your own luck you create your own luck and you can't give up and that's just what I'm learning, just even today. Learning every single day and I'm trying to self-improve massively so I can get to a point when I'm in my 30s, 40s, where I've just got everything sorted out. But obviously life throws obstacles in the way. And that's never the case. It is currently 8 p.m. on day 21. Tomorrow's day 22. Can't wait for day 22. Apparently it takes 22 days to create a good habit and for your habits to then become like normality. So let's see how that plays out. Probably we'll try and do the reels tomorrow. Even though I didn't have the best of days with funding pairs, the site should now be live by the time you watch this. As tonight, I believe the site's going live. We're currently at 2640. We jumped back in at 2650 after closing out for about four-ish percent, all in free trading group and platinum group. We're gonna hold this trade overnight because we're targeting 2630 which is a 20 pip a sell and a 200 pip take profit making it a 10 to 1 risk to reward this is what we're currently looking at jumped in there jumped in there holding it down for 2630 and then further sells but down to a liquidity grab to knock out the previous lower highs of this channel formed at the top which is 2602 slash 2600 as this was the news liquidity grab for the fomc news that's why it's really important to Watch your trades, watch the markets, how they've been moving after weeks and months, understand certain channel breakouts because it's always gonna come back to a certain price and then the market will impulsively go bullish or bearish. It's important to read charts on a laptop or PC, iPad. Don't just stick glue to the phone on MetaTrader 4 or 5. Make sure to get on TradingView, look on it, a more wider version of the markets and try your best to make as much profit as you can and then learn how to manage the trades that's the most important thing the risk management and then managing the trade when you're in it when to close when to enter and how long to leave that stop loss running for but it's been your boy tj thank you for the support day 22 tomorrow but day 21 has now been finished